hey 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 everyone hopefully y'all can hear me so bear with me while i adjust my lighting who's who's on here with me today so um for those of you that first of all hey 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 <laughs> welcome to my kitchen uh, i'm sure you guys have seen it before in some of my videos so let's see i'm trying to get a good angle there we go nope <laughs> that's not good me you need to see me more there we go that's a little better so i'm going to say a few things let's do some housekeeping um Okay. I don't know who's on here, but hi. Thank you for joining. So I, I had posted on my, I posted on my community page that I would do some options, right? Of things that you guys wanna see. So this is one of them and forgive the table moving. You guys are like attached to my counter that I'm working on. But my son, he usually likes me to make brunch for him. And because I am, have been extremely busy lately, I have not been able to really cook as much as I would like to. Cooking has always been a love of mine ever since i was really little it has also been a form of therapy for me it's something that i could get used that i could get lost in and i guess the rewarding thing about cooking something putting your love and energy into something and then having people enjoy it is extremely rewarding and you know cooking is like food that is sustenance and you just have, I think the world has a special relationship with food. I, mean, I know you guys have watched, you all have watched cooking videos. It's a huge thing, tasty, like all of these things, all of these outlets, because people are really interested in food and it's comforting, right? It's comforting. So it's always been rewarding for me as not all, as a stress reliever, as a coping mechanism, and um, I just going, I'm going to share a little bit more of that part of my life with you all through hopefully through these live conversations. I guess we'll see how it goes. So hello everyone for those of you who just joined. I also want to let you know I have super chats on. I'm going to try to interact and talk with you all as much as possible, but because I am doing. I am doing something else. <laughs> I am cooking for Uriel, my youngest son, who is going to come and do taste testing. I have to stop at some point to like get closer because you know, my phone is all the way over here. Yes, I'm using my phone, using what I got, making the best of it so I could see. But with the super chats, if you've ever been on a live where you can, you know, give a donation if you all want to support the work that I'm doing, everything is going to go towards the programs in protect to protect children, women and children and prevent abuse. So anything that you contribute either here or any of my other fundraisers, just know that that is what it's going to towards so in this case it would be easier for me to see your comment or your question using the super chats but i will try to get to everything anyway so today now if you're on any of those food insider videos or anything like that i'm going to make this quick because homeboy in there is hungry you'll hear him shouting on the video games and stuff there is an asian street food where they take croissant dough and put it in a waffle iron and make a little snack so i'm going to try that so this is an experiment as well as just something 
things. I use my waffle iron for all kinds of things. I, when I was younger, I made use of the waffle iron because I couldn't use the stove when I was little if my parents wasn't home. And they were often not home, leaving me with my siblings to feed them and stuff. So I made use of the waffle iron. I don't know how that really made sense. I guess with the fire, with the stove, you couldn't burn things down, but I was allowed to use waffle iron. And I did everything from making hash browns to sandwiches. And we had one of those ones where you could pull the, oh, this was smoking, where you could pull the iron out of it. You can unclip it and flip it over so you can make grilled cheese from it as well. This is a deep iron. It's a deep well iron by Oster so it makes Belgian waffles that are just got the deep crevices and they're really crispy so I'll probably do that another time so I had gotten some some of these have been eaten I got some um croissants pre-made frozen croissants from Whole Foods now normally you would take these out right and again I'm going to stress this is an experiment people normally you would take these out and put them right in the oven so you don't have to let it rise it is a yeast dough so you don't have to let it rise but today I had to defrost it so I'm going to go ahead and um, I have some turbinado sugar I'm gonna coat it with sugar and cinnamon and we'll see how the kid likes it so the topic for today during our cooking and conversation is stress management. And it is because I, as, as an entrepreneur, as a mom, as an activist, stress is like an issue. And then especially in the black community specifically, it has been directly, it has, it's, studies have shown that stress factors in the black community contribute to the poverty in a lot of low-income black communities because you know where you have people in a high tax bracket they have the funds to get their regular massages and their therapies and so on and so forth then they can just manage everything that comes along with life better but with us as a can I help you, sir? The taste tester is here. He's peeking in. He was in there playing video games. But with, with single moms, right? Ladies, if any of you are on here are single moms, you know that stress can get crazy, which then just makes you more sensitive to things. And, you know, it's, it's not easy and could lead to depression. So stress management is really important. I unfortunately do not get enough massages, but I do go to the gym. I punch it out on the treadmill um, before, before our current state of affairs. Why can't I find a fork? Uriel, I need your help. Uriel, I need your help. Yo. You're gonna have to get me another fork to whip the eggs. Another fork? Yes. What do you mean? I oh, need a oh, clean oh, oh, fork oh. to whip the eggs. Okay. Because I don't know what you guys did with them. Is anybody like do it? Am I the only one that have forks disappearing from my house? Are my chats on? Because I'm not seeing anybody comment. Are y'all just watching right now? So now this is the thing. Let me finish my thought first. Working out, meditating. I know you guys have watched my other videos and I always talk about meditating with stress management. It's a huge help, helps to calm your mind, release negative energy, absorb positive energy. So there is that, but there's other things, you know, like different hobbies, going out. I mean, all these is watching TV alone is a form of stress management because it helps you to relax. You have a fork? Did you wash it? No. Okay, well wash it please. Let me just rinse this one off for now. No, rinse it off. I use this for the cinnamon and sugar. So, um, yeah, but then it's really important to be intentional to actually set aside time during the day to whether it be unwind, meditate, exercise. I am I went away 
recently. I went to North Carolina. That video is coming soon. A friend of mine, he's in media, but he's also down there doing a lot of development in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. And he invited me down to see what was going on down there. Here's my thought. He invited me down to see what was going on down there. So I went down and thank God there was a Planet Fitness because I just knew that I needed to, I couldn't break my workout regimen. I work in office every other week. So I use my week that I'm not in the office to just, okay, this has to turn down a little bit. I use my week that I'm not in the office to go to the gym every single day. And I have to say, getting those endorphin going, getting those endorphins going really helps with any other form of stress that I may have deal with. I feel like that after I am on the treadmill, you know, doing my little dancing and stuff, when I'm done, I just feel so much more relaxed and clear headed. And right now I feel like I should be shorter, but it's a huge help in just getting on with the rest of my day. And that's why I have to go to the gym in the morning because it does help with getting on with the rest of your day. So physical activity and creating and stimulating endorphin production, which is a hormone that the feel good hormone, you get it when you orgasm, it's what's released when you orgasm, it's what's released when you're feeling all warm and fuzzy inside. Um, and working out, getting your heart running, doing cardiovascular work produces, helps to and produce endorphin so there's a little science for you <laughs> there's a little science for you okay so now because the croissant dough will be coated in the sugar and cinnamon i have to do this in an order because the waffle line is the only thing that i'm going to use to cook right now um i have the eggs whipped up now because this is deep these are deep premises this is going to be interesting y'all experimenting with me some nonstick spray. I like to fry my eggs in butter. We're going to do this. And then I have Morning Star vegetarian sausage patties. I get Uriel, my son, turkey sausage sometimes. But, um, you know, being raised vegetarian, I don't eat pork, we don't eat red meat. You know, should I do these first? Yeah, let me do these first. That way it'll, it can give me some more time to talk. Let's see what happens when we do this. That clamps it and then turn it. Let's see how that comes out. But being raised vegetarian, I just could never really get with the taste actually i've never tasted red meat i've never tasted red meat i've never tasted pork i do eat some chicken because i have to have a protein source beans give me gas apparently soy is not too good in large quantities because it makes a woman overproduce estrogen so you know my sources for protein and i'm allergic to fish so my sources, for pro my sources for protein seem to be getting even more limited. So I did have to start eating chicken. Now the first time I ate chicken, oh, I was sick. After not eating meat my entire life, the first time I ate chicken, I think I was like 30, I was so sick. Like I was in the bathroom. I was killed over. I just slept. I had, it was almost like I got, I think it was like I got food poisoning. My body was not having it. But because of my intention, I, I just kept trying. So I'd eat a little here and there. I didn't eat chicken outside of the chicken that I prepared and the chicken that my grandmother prepared. But, you know, over time, then my body got used to it. So now this says that it's ready already. Let's see. And you know, I need some. So I can show you. Give me a sec. Uriel, yeah. just be on. Look at that! Isn't that so cute? Huh? A little waffle sausage. Be be on note 
for when it's time to taste. I think smell? that's cooked all the way through. What's that smell? Maybe a little burn burn. Okay, so now the eggs. What took the eggs? And let's see. I'm only going to pour it in half. Can you guys see? Because I know. Ooh. Since it is cooking, you want to see. The sausage smells good? Yeah. Now I'm going to let that, I think I'm going to let that cook close a little bit and then I'll close it and flip it. What you think? I want some. You just want, <laughs> you say you just want Wait, some. Wait, do I have to, do I get to have everything or? Yeah, every, I'm making it for you. I'm not really? eating it. Oh my God, thank babe. Thank Plus God. that's, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's your reward for letting me experiment on you. <laughs> what? What is this live one? YouTube. Oh. 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 I mean, eggs cook quick anyway. Woo! Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Look. Oh, shoot. No lights. Oh! Mother! <sighs> <laughs> Are you gonna eat this? Yes! Wow. I mean, I was going to do you another one. Well, really? It went on the eggs. It went on the clean eggs. Okay? It went on the clean eggs. Just let the rest go. Okay. And now, the piece de la resistance. Can you make more, please? I don't know if that... No. That was um. That was two eggs. You can't oh, eat that many two? eggs. Yeah, that's two eggs. Why is it not going to like that? Okay. So now, the croissants. So, this is the croissant dough. Croissant. Right, we are going to roll it in cinnamon and sugar. Let me get another one. Should I do all of them or just do the two? All of them. He don't even know if he's gonna like it. This is a thing with kids now, and Uriel can tell you, I make sure that they taste stuff at least once because this picky eating i don't do the picky eating thing i remember i had to sit around the table four hours however long it took to eat my cow peas and my um i hope that's not too much cinnamon you better eat it my fish which turned out i was allergic to so i didn't only just not like it i feel like i need more sugar Eh, i'll leave it like that which I think. Okay. Some of my egg leaks out. Clean that up. So, yes, for everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, stress management, it has been shown that stress management is directly correlates with the ability to, to build wealth. And I get that. It makes sense because if you are, especially if you are an entrepreneur, and even if you're working for someone, being productive, it's just important to have your mind clear. So you can be productive and you can do the job and shoot, you can get out of bed and you can feel good about getting out of bed. And I think that's why places like Google, like these corporations that have a huge um, profit margin. Oh gosh, one time. So I took a workshop, a couple of workshops actually, and some classes on entrepreneurship and learning how to create a business plan. And we had to study profit margins and overheads and things like that 
Um, but at the time, I think this was like maybe 2012. At the time, we stopped rocking the table. At the time, Google's profit margin was 80%. Can you imagine? Like, most of your money, all of, all of the work that you're putting in, most of your money that you're making is just goes in your pocket. So they can provide things like massages and afternoon naps and things for their employees. And it's unfortunate that, especially when we talk about frontline workers, I think that it's unfortunate that, um, you know, the more strenuous positions, you don't have any kind of outlet to manage the stress and just the pressures associated with those hard positions you know so i'm not seeing guys let me know okay no one's saying anything well thank you again we are y'all are experimenting with me if you're just joining cooking and conversations this is a test people this is a test i had went to my I posted on my community page on my channel that Let me get my thoughts. <laughs> Let me get my thoughts lined up. I had made created a post on my community tab on my YouTube channel requesting for your input on other videos that I do. I will always other videos that I should do. I will always do videos raising awareness on child molestation and domestic violence. I will always do that because that kind of help is really needed in the world and through my experience i have learned a lot about myself i've learned a lot about other people i've learned a lot about how our society and culture approaches these issues and i've learned different ways on how to prevent it from happening so i will always have those videos but of course that's not my entire life i have other things and i do understand that um you know, we, we we need to relax. We need to enjoy life at the same time. Yes, there's a lot of stuff that we have to deal with. How's this going? There's a lot of stuff and a lot of issues that we have to deal with and we have to fix. But at the same time, we're living this life and we have to live. So I would like to know what other videos you would like. I have so many interests, so we're testing. I, I posted a video last week about, hey, what was it about? Posted a video last week. Oh, about Juneteenth. Juneteenth and Father's Day. Me grilling, jerk chicken, so on and so forth. I'm editing one now about my trip to North Carolina. We're going to try this. And, you know, your input. So, y'all ready to see how this looks? It says ready. Let's turn it the right way. Uriel! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Good. Smells good? Yeah. I'm wondering, does it need to be cooked a little more? No, that's fine. So what should we do? Should we put powdered sugar on it? Because uh, it's, it's cinnamon and sugar, right? So powdered sugar makes sense. I don't have frosting. That's fine. Well, no. But guess powdered sugar doesn't make sense. Should no. I make, maybe I make some frosting real quick? I no. can make some frosting real quick. No, no I can no. literally... I don't want frosting. Yeah, but I want to try it with frosting. <laughs> Alright, so you put frosting on one and then the rest without frosting. Oops, I'm dropping stuff over here. So we're going to make a little frosting drizzle to go on these. Oh shoot, that's the coconut. It's not the powdered sugar. Where is the powdered sugar? Ah, oh, crap. See, this is what happens when you don't think things all the way through and find it all in that. Darn. Okay, I didn't think about frosting. But I always keep powdered sugar. So let's there we go. Ha -ha. Okay. Powdered sugar. Let's open these. I just wanted to make sure they were cooked all the way through. So now it's a little brown. They look good, don't they? Yeah. So we're gonna mix a little powdered sugar. Some water. Is 
that you make frosting? Glaze. Oh. You just need a little water and powdered sugar. Oh. Why are you using a chopstick? Because, because you guys lost all the forks. Who is you guys? I don't even use forks that much. I mostly eat out, so. Although I should really use two. You mostly eat out. You don't yes. mostly eat out. Besides you. Either I'm eating out or you cook. Right. And that's when you need forks. But I mean, we eat so much Asian food. That we have chopsticks. We've got plenty of chopsticks. Oh, yeah. That's all I made for you. Oh, okay. You want to see this close up? Please don't drop it. I'm not gonna drop <laughs> this. I'm gonna eat one. I'm taking. Well, I'm taking a half. All right. You want me to just pour pour, pour some of it on just one of yours? No, I don't want powdered sugar. Huh? I don't want frosting. You don't want frosting at all. Nope. Why are you taking your plane? I'm not. I was moving it so you uh, okay. okay, I'm only going to eat half of this one, guys. Can you see? And I'll give the other half to him. So it's still flaky. What's so funny? I don't think you, want, you got the effect that you want. Later. It's flaky on the inside. You don't want any syrup? Oh, yeah. I mean, any? No, I don't want any. Mmm. No. Mmm. Where is syrup at? Mmm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, I'm blind. So, the sugar on the outside that I put on the outside, like, caramelized and made it crackly. I need to turn this off. I can have all of this, right? No yes, way. you can eat the rest, but you have to come and taste it. Yes, you do. I already told him he had to taste test. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, tips. If you don't, if you can't find croissant dough, you could use biscuit dough or crescent roll. You know, like the, the Pillsbury crescent roll dough? Mmm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Do I have to? Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Just let me fill myself real quick. <laughs> How many people? Nine? Uh, Ladies and gentlemen. Nine people. That's like. Him. Oh <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Helped make this happen. Wow. What? You're not even going to taste it first before you drown it in syrup? Yeah. This is my picky eater, people, that I have to really make taste everything. We're waiting patiently. At least he's thinking about it. <laughs> mm. Better, but it's a little burnt. And what would make it better? Well, it's caramelized. It Where is it burnt? It's caramel. That's cinnamon. Oh, I don't know. He's a cinnamon. I don't like the cinnamon. Oh, he doesn't like the cinnamon. But cinnamon is good for you. It's good for stomach digestion. So I guess he's gonna eat this all with his fingers. I don't want. What for is that? I need my eggs. right. Wait. I made you two eggs. That's plenty, right? Go check in two eggs. How much money more eggs is he gonna? All right, y'all. That's it. Experiment. I would say it's a success. Even though Uriel is like, eh, it's all right. I thought it was delicious. That's 
especially the crafting part. So let me know what you think about this video. See, we got chopsticks. We have plenty of chopsticks. Will it waffle? I already wanted to do a series called Will It Waffle um, for my Sincerely Z channel, which I am currently preparing to populate. I have a whole slew of videos for that, of cooking videos. But um, let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think about this video? All right? On that note, if you have not subscribed already, please do subscribe, like, share, comment, um, and try this out. It's not necessarily a recipe. You can get any refrigerator dough, roll it in some sugar and cinnamon, put it in a waffle iron. And have forks. Okay. Yeah, please have forks because this is very difficult. Yeah. All right. Be blessed for your blessing. Bye.